Last year on Winning Golf, we had our first revolution. Today, it looks like we might have another one. So what kind of revolution am I talking about? Well, I can tell you this, it's an energetic one. You see what I mean? It's called the Girls Golf Revolution, and believe me, you won't want to miss it. Next on Winning Golf. Fish get to the hole and Winning dig. Golf. Oh. What we play. This one's got it, Stan. Nails it. Short game each and every day. I'm near the green again. That's where the action all oh. begins. Because we're Winning Golf. Everybody wins. That's right. Everybody wins. Winning Golf is brought to you by SAP. Enable your business to run simple with SAP. Welcome to Winning Golf, the show where everybody wins. And today from the gorgeous Apple Cross Country Club, Winning Golf is thrilled to welcome a very talented team of junior golfers from a group called the Girls Golf Revolution. And girls, welcome to Winning Golf. Yeah! Are you ready to have some fun? Yeah! How about some competition? Yeah! Are you ready to play some Winning Golf? Yeah! Oh, I love your enthusiasm. And we have a great first event. And Jen Cleary is going to participate. Jen, welcome. Have a nice cheer for Jen. <laughs> Jen, our first event is called a punch out challenge, okay? And you're going to punch your ball from about 20 to 25 steps away and try to get your ball through that little hole. Now, this is a very challenging shot. Sometimes we're trying to punch back into a fairway. You're trying to punch through a little hole. So I'm going to give you three attempts, Jen. If you can knock one of those golf balls through that hole, I'm going to give you a gift certificate to PJ Will Hands. How's that sound? Good. Awesome? Let's get ready to do it. Well, we are ready to go. 14 year old Jen Cleary has three chances to punch her ball through a tiny circle. If she can do it, Jen will be heading to PJ Will Hands and probably taking some of her good friends with her. All right, here's punch out number one. Look at that shot. Just right into the circle. A good effort. Here's her second attempt. A very challenging shot. We have a little bit of a downhill eye here and a very small target. Oh, just on the left side of the hole. She's got one more attempt. This is very exciting. She's been close on her first two. And here it is. Oh, it did it. She did it, Jen Clary. Unbelievable punch out. You made it on your third and final attempt. And now you'll be heading to PJ Will Hands. Jen, I hope you had a great time. I had an awesome time. Thank you, Coach Doug. You're quite welcome. Well, that was a very exciting contest. And the great news is we have lots more fun and excitement ahead of us. But first, let's take a tour around today's amazing facility, the beautiful and spectacular Apple Cross Country Club. Apple Cross Country Club, located in beautiful Chester County, is well known for exceeding expectations when it comes to serving its members and guests. Besides the gorgeous golf course, an Apple Cross member can enjoy a first-class instructional facility as well as the spectacular 19th hole practice area. In addition, there are countless opportunities for recreational and social pursuits, including an indoor pool, an Olympic-sized outdoor pool, a kid's splash zone, tennis and basketball courts, six miles of walking trails, indoor and outdoor patio dining, plus a state-of-the-art all-season sports pavilion featuring a 10,000 square foot cardio and weight training center. A lot of different options for the members, from full-service pool bar, a limited size swimming pool, uh, indoor fitness facility, uh, heavy weight room, life cycle fitness equipment, to the miles of trails that kind of run around the community. There's a lot of opportunity for our members to enjoy the outdoors. And to top it off, this coming fall, Apple Cross will introduce a brand new 18,000 square foot clubhouse. This exquisitely designed facility will have three floors and will include an expansive pro shop, men's and women's locker rooms, and a member's lounge on the third floor equipped with a 35 seat bar, games, and comfortable seating to relax after a round of golf. This amazing golf course, which opened in July 2010, blends into a landscape that reveals breathtaking views of sparkling lakes and rolling countryside. Wetlands and water features grace the surroundings on 14 of the 18 holes. There is no question that lead designer Michael Nicholas, the youngest son of Jack, enhanced the great architectural heritage of the Nicholas name with this gem. The golf course conditions are second to none. We work very hard here at Apple Cross, maintaining the best conditions in the Philly section. Our greens here are subtle. There aren't any large undulations, but they're very, very tricky. The 18-hole layout provides four sets of tees, plays to a par 72, 
and can be played anywhere from 5,200 to 7,000 yards. One thing is for sure, this course is unlike any other in the area, offering classic Nicholas challenges. The Nicholas arrival at Apple Cross also kicked off an inviting multi-club membership program offering championship golf by Nicholas, Palmer, and Reese Jones. A membership at Apple Cross Country Club provides you with full privileges to Tallamore Country Club located in Ambler, Pennsylvania. In addition, Apple Cross members have access to the 36-hole Tallamore Golf Resort as well as the Mid-South Club, both located in Pinehurst, North Carolina. Members in the Tallamore Family Network have 100% reciprocity with all four facilities based on their category of membership selected. One thing is for sure, world-class golf and club facilities grace each of the properties that are part of the Tallamore family of clubs. If you would like to learn more about this unique multi-club membership and possibly join the Tallamore family, please call 484-645-2471 or check out the website at applecrosscc.com. Get ready for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. Winning golf where everybody wins. Now let's meet our players. Lily Byrne, Stefania Fadoon, Jen Cleary, Sam Stout, Rosie Byrne, Olivia Giuliana, Anisha Santi, Caitlin Ferrer, Ava O'Sullivan, Maya Torpy, Caitlin McGrinder, Grace Hickey, Natalie Jacobs, Sarah McClintock. First up for our players is the SAP Run Simple Challenge. Enable your business to run simple with SAP. Girls, are you ready for the exciting SAP Run Simple Challenge? Yeah! Great. Well, my friends at SAP believe that whether you're a large company or a small one, SAP will enable your business to run simple. SAP simply eliminates complexity. Now, I believe that Run Simple approach also works very well for my coaching. When I'm coaching, I like to keep things simple. So for today's SAP Run Simple Challenge, there are three simple parts. Part number one, your coach, Eric McLuhan, is going to teach us a lot about lag putting. Part number two, Sam Stout's going to put that tip into action. And part number three is the SAP Run Simple Challenge, where all of you will get to try a lag putt and at the same time compete for an amazing prize. Girls, you ready for this? How about two tickets to a Flyers hockey game in a suite? What do you think? Yeah! That will be an awesome evening. Well, Eric, tell us about lag putting. Lag putting, to me, is a feel activity. It's very much, it reminds me a lot of, like, throwing a or tossing a coin into a bucket. Okay. You know, where you look at the bucket, you look at your target, and you kind of feel it. Just like that. Just like that. Awesome. You know, just kind of feel the length. So when you're looking at the hole, you want to you know, use your eyes. Don't look, just look at the ball. So when you're taking your practice swings, I like to take practice swings with just the right hand and try to feel what I'm doing. So I'll do, in this game, I'm going to do a couple with just the right. Just feeling it. Just feeling it. Yeah. Trying to feel the rhythm of the swing. Mm -hmm. Then I would do one with two hands. And try to feel that same thing. Great tempo to your stroke. Very yeah. nice job. I like to hit two with just the right hand and then one with two hands. And do it from you know five or six distances and you really get a good feel for things. Now I'm gonna bring up Sam Stout to put this tip in action. Have a nice applause for Sam, everybody. Woo! All right, Sam. So your first two will be with one hand, just your right hand, correct? Yeah. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's feel this stroke. It's a beautiful setup and a beautiful stroke. Nice roll, Sam. Another one one, one hand. Greens are rolling beautifully here at Apple Cross. Very nice. All right, Sam, your final attempt with two hands. Nice setup, nice roll. Boy, this one's got a chance to go in. Look at this stroke by Sam Stout, everybody. How about that effort? Well done, Sam. For your private or group golf instruction with PGA Golf professional Doug Hendricks, go to winninggolftv.com. Hey, girls, you ready for the SAP Run Simple Challenge? Yeah! Awesome, let's do it. Give me a Our SAP Run Simple Challenge is a 35-foot lag putt with left to right break. Sam Stout starts things off. Planted above the hole from left to right, a nice soft touch and a beautiful effort by Sam Stout. Well done, Sam. 
Sarah McClintock rolls it to about three feet. 35 feet. Rolling down the hill, nestling up there nicely. A nice touch by Sarah McClintock. Well done. Rosie Byrne is a few inches better. This one's got a chance, everybody. Rolling from left to right. Rosie Byrne, what an effort, Rosie. Well done. Maya Torpy's lag putt looks good at just over two feet. Beautiful setup and a beautiful touch. This is breaking beautifully, and that's a great lag putt by Maya Torpy. Well done, Maya. But Anisha Santi grabs the tickets with this putt. Boy, the line looks good. The speed looks great. This is lagging up there beautifully. And that's a beautiful touch by Anisha Santi. Anisha Santi, congratulations. Thank you. That was a great lag putt. You left your ball two feet, one inch from the hole. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the contest. I really did. I had a great time, Coach Doug. Well, thank you, Anisha. Now, Anisha, you've already won two Flyers tickets in a suite. I hope that sounds good to you. It sounds awesome. So but, my, but my question for you right now is this. Would you be interested in adding some serious cash to those tickets? That would be awesome. And you know what, Anisha, you may have the opportunity to win that cash when winning golf returns. New bikes aren't selling, guys. What are you going to do? How about we pump more into promotions? Yeah, what else? What if we hire more sales reps? Yeah, what else? What if we digitize the whole supply chain? So people can customize their bike before they buy it. That worked better than expected. I'll dial it back. Yeah, dial it back. Just a little. Live business powered by SAP. When you run live, you run simple. This is a golf glove, but not just any glove. This is FootJoy, the glove worn by more golfers than all the other brands combined. A glove is what connects you to your club. So we research and design, innovate and engineer, obsess over leather and fuss over fit. We cut and stitch, inspect and test, evaluate and assess, and repeat. Are we extreme, all-consumed, single-minded in our commitment to quality? Maybe. But quality means comfort. Comfort means confidence. And confidence is king. That's why more tour pros trust FootJoy than any other glove. That's why FootJoy is the number one glove in golf. Prizes for winning golf contestants provided by Proforma Industries, your one source for promotional products, printing services, and e-commerce solutions. And by P.J. Wheelahan's Pub and Restaurant. Visit one of our restaurants and make it a party at PJ's. Outerwear provided by FootJoy. FootJoy Performance Outerwear. Layer up with FootJoy. Welcome back to Winning Golf. Well, girls, you ready to puff for some cash? Yeah! Awesome. Well, here's the deal. In a couple seconds, I'm going to pull one name out of the hat. That girl will then come up and pull out two golf balls, one from each bag. The first golf ball will tell us the distance of the putt. The second one? How much cash we're partying for? And girls, we're talking serious cash, anywhere from $1,000 to $5,000. How's that sound? Great. Pretty yeah. exciting? All right. Let's see who the lucky winner is at Apple Cross Country Club. Very exciting. The tension is building. And her name is Olivia Juliana. Olivia, come on down. Congratulations, Olivia. Thank you. All right. If you can kindly step over here with me, let's pull one ball out of here and hand that ball to me. Oh, that's the best you can do. That's only 25 feet. Now the all-important cash draw. Let's get a big cheer here. We have $3,000 for Olivia. Sound great? Yeah. Let's go win some cash. I certainly want to mention that this exciting putting contest is sponsored by our good friends from U.S. Hole and One Insurance. Olivia is putting from 25 feet for $3,000. Here it comes. It's online. This one's heading for old sky chance. Oh, just below the cup. That's a great effort by Olivia Juliana. Well, Olivia Juliana, you had 25 feet. You got it to the hole, which is a good thing when you're putting for a lot of cash. You didn't make the putt, but I still hope you had a fun time. It was great. Thank you so much. You're quite welcome, Olivia. Well, we didn't give away the cash this week, but the great news is we still have a ton of awesome prizes to give away in the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. So let's get round one underway. Our Winning Golf Skills Challenge will showcase our competitors' short game skills with some challenging shots in three preliminary rounds. If they win a round, they win a prize and valuable extra shots in our all-important survivor round. Our top two winners in the survivor round will compete in an up-and-in competition to determine this week's champion. Well, Caitlin, we have a 90-foot chip shot here in round one. This is a very challenging 18 green. It goes up and then it breaks down. What's your number one concern for your chip shot here? I think the line because there's a really big break on here. A pretty big left to right break? Yes. You like that read, girls? Sound good? Yeah. All right, let's get ready for round one. Round one features a 90-foot chip shot. Rosie Burns shows off her short game skill. Should roll left to right, trickling down towards the hole. Nice touch by Rosie Byrne. Well done. 
Grace Hickey chips it with confidence. Playing this from left to right, it's a beautiful touch. And this should be just below the cup. And that's a nice winning golf effort by Grace Hickey. Olivia Juliana's ball dances its way to nine feet. He's running it up there. If it gets to the crest, it could be really good. We'll trickle down from there. Here it comes. Look at this touch by Olivia Juliana. Winning golf, Olivia. Well done. But the shot of the round belongs to Caitlin McGrinder. Boy, this could be very good. It's got a chance to hit the cup. Look at this shot, everybody. Oh, right off the lip. Caitlin McGrinder, well done. Well, Grace, we have a very challenging pitch shot here, 35 yards from the first cup. And this challenging 18th green causes a lot of problems. What's your thoughts over the golf ball? Uh, definitely the uh, speed and also the break. So how much break do you think it's going to be? Uh, quite a bit. Of it's a big, it's a big breaking yeah, green. Yeah. All right, sound good, girls? Yeah. Play a lot of break on this one. Well done. Thank, Thank you. you. Anisha Santi plays this 35-yard pitch shot very well. Look at this spinning back. What a beautiful touch by Anisha. That's a great shot, Anisha. Well done. Comes almost straight back down the hill, doesn't it? Look at that. Lily Burns sets the mark at five feet from the cup. Playing it high on that crest. Should catch the crest, and here it comes from left to right. It's a big break here on hole 18 at Apple Cross. And that's a great touch by Lily Byrne. Well done, Lily. Avo Sullivan pitches it to four and a half feet. 11 years old. And look at this touch by Ava. This could be really close when it's done. Trickled in towards the cup. And that's a great shot. Olivia Juliana looks to steal the round. Olivia Juliana with a gap wedge. If it gets to the crest, this could be very good. We'll roll now. We'll roll left to right, and here it comes down the hill. And that's a great touch by Olivia Juliana. Well done, Olivia. But Jen Cleary hits this winning golf shot to just over three feet. Going from left to right, and this is a great touch. This has a chance to go in if it gets to the cup. That is well done, Jen. Well, Ava, we have a short pitch shot here, but this is very challenging. Why? Um, because the grass is really thick, so the lie can be a problem if you don't if you don't hit the ball first. Then it can you can chunk it or scull it and goes all the way across the green and. A lot of problems. Problems, yeah. <laughs> Sound good, girls? Let's get ready for round three. Stefania Fadoon has no trouble with the thick and heavy rough of round three. Nice soft shot. Stefania Fadoon. Sam Stout coaxes her ball to about five feet. And boy, look at a spin on that golf ball. Nice touch, Sam. Natalie Jacobs matches that effort. And the speed looks great. And that's a nice touch by Natalie Jacobs. Well done, Natalie. Grace Hickey announces her presence. Grace Hickey, bring it on the left side. That's a beautiful touch by Grace. Well done, Grace Hickey. Olivia Juliana continues her fine play. Boy, what a touch that is by Olivia. Well done, Olivia. But Maya Torpy's wonderful shot to about a foot wins the round. Look at that touch by Maya. Now it's time to check out what's on the tee with PGA professional Doug Hendricks. I'm on the tee today with fellow PGA professional Eric McLuhan who also serves as a director of instruction here at the Apple Cross Golf Academy and also is founder of Girls Golf Revolution. Eric, welcome to Winning Golf. Thank you, sir. Eric, it was just a privilege to spend the morning with a group of your girls from Girls Golf Revolution. They looked like a lot of fun, a lot of energy. Uh, thank you for setting everything up no for problem. us. No problem. They loved it. It was a lot of fun. Well, Eric, let's talk more about Girls Golf Revolution. Obviously, you do a great job instructing them and teaching them the game of golf. But from what I hear and what we discussed, there's a lot more to the game of golf than just teaching the golf. What do you do with those kids? Well, with our foundation, we, we do a lot of free clinics to try to get awareness for the programs and to try to create more players. You know, and we try to let the girls know all the opportunities that are out there, not just from uh, high school golf or college golf and scholarships and beyond, you know, opportunities for them to use use golf as a tool for business. And you've also done some amazing fundraising connected with the Girls Golf Revolution. It's It's been awesome. Like last year, kids played uh, marathons at over 40 different courses in the region. Um, one of the big things we did um, was put putting greens into multiple Marana McDonald houses for the kids who are staying at the houses to be able to putt. And it's, it's been a privilege, you know. Um, we just got some pictures back from the Ronald McDonald House in the, in the Wilmington area and it just it makes the hair stand up when you, when you see them putting and chipping, giving them another activity to do while they're staying at the hospital. Well, golf services is just such a great platform 
in so many things, including the business world and the ability to help with charities. You're doing a great job here. I wish you continued success with Girls Golf Revolution and with your teaching program here at Apple Cross. Thanks so much for Thank being you. on the tee. I appreciate it. You got it. I'll see you next week on the tee. The top two players in our Winning Golf Skills Challenge Survivor Round will advance to compete in a one-on-one -on -one up and in competition to determine this week's champion. Players who've won previous rounds have extra shots to try to get it closest to the cup. This week, our players are tested with this uphill 20-yard downhill pitch that Caitlin McGrinder had no trouble with. With a beautiful touch, this will get to the crest and come down and come back towards the hole. And look at that effort by Caitlin. Well done, Caitlin. Nice job. Ava O'Sullivan sets the standard with this pitch to five feet. This is rolling back towards the hole. This could go in if it hits the hole. Ava O'Sullivan. Oh, my. What a great shot, Ava. Well done. Maya Torpy has playoff potential with this shot to four feet. Look at this touch. That's just a great golf shot by Maya Torpy. Well done, Maya. But two players were better. Caitlin Ferrer. Boy, this is really good. It's going to get to the crest and roll straight down. Look at this touch by Caitlin. That's winning golf, Caitlin Ferrer. Well done. And Natalie Jacobs. Getting to the crest. That's all you have to do. If you get to this crest, it rolls towards the hole. And look at this shot by Natalie. This is pin high when it's done. And that is winning golf, Natalie Jacobs. Well done. So it'll be Jacobs and Ferrer battling it out to see who will be this week's champion. Enjoy one-of-a-kind hospitality at the Desmond Hotel Malvern, a full-service hotel with a staff focused on providing exceptional customer service. It's no wonder our guests say the Desmond Hotel is the best part of traveling. This summer, visit the Sunset Grill at the Desmond. Succulent Maine lobster, live music, and special cocktails. Come see why we're consistently voted the best outdoor dining in Chester County. If it's important to you, trust it to us at the Desmond. Ah, you're going with a two iron. Ah, uh, you're probably thinking it shouldn't have hit that two iron. But when you think infinity, think Bush Auto Group. Infinity of Ardmore, infinity of Westchester. Think infinity, think Bush Auto Group. Chunk shot? Oh, and another. And now the foot wedge. Yeah, you're probably thinking Mulligan. And when you think Nissan, think Bush Auto Group. In Exton, Devon, Limerick, and at bushautogroup.com. New bikes aren't selling, guys. What are you going to do? How about we pump more into promotions? Yeah, what else? What if we hire more sales reps? Yeah, what else? What if we digitize the whole supply chain? So people can customize their bike before they buy it. That worked better than expected. I'll dial it back. Yeah, dial it back. Just a little. Live business powered by SAP. When you run live, you run simple. Prizes and tee gifts for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge provided by Precision Pro Golf. Golf range finders for the everyday golfer. Play smarter with Precision Pro Golf. And by Ahead, advanced headwear, embroidery, and design. Pure putters, higher MOI plus adjustability. No other putter offers the performance and versatility of a cure putter. Doug Hendricks wardrobe provided by the Greg Norman Collection. Greg Norman, performance by design. It's time now for the SAP Up and In Playoff on Winning Golf. We are on the 18th green and our two finalists are ready to compete for some amazing prizes. A slot in the winning golf championship and the opportunity to drive home with the keys to a brand new Nissan Maxima. Now the rules for the SAP up and in playoff are simple. Whoever gets their ball into the cup in the fewest number of strokes will be crowned our winning golf champion. Our first shot in the SAP up and in playoff will be a 15 yard chip shot from the first cut. Caitlin Farrar will have the honors. Caitlin is 11 years old, attends Patton Middle School. Just a tough shot, just get it on the green. And what a touch by Caitlin Ferrer. That is amazing, right below the hole. And now it's Natalie Jacobs' turn to try and tame this challenging 18th green here at Apple Cross Country Club. Natalie is 17 years old, attends Henderson High School in Westchester. A lot of pressure here in the SAP up and in playoff. This could hit the hole. Another great touch, and look at these shots by these two girls. A great way to start our SAP up and in playoff. Well, Natalie Jacobs has about seven feet. Had a great chip shot down here. A little left to right. Played a little bit outside the hole, and she's got about two feet left. Well, 11-year-old Caitlin Ferrer is in the driver's seat. If she can roll in this four-footer uphill, she'll be the 
winning golf champ here at Apple Cross Country Club. He's only played in four tournaments, and here it comes. And it is in the hole, and Caitlin Ferrer is the winning golf champion here at Apple Cross Country Club. He hit two pressure shots when it counted a chip and a putt. You've only been playing for a year. You're 11 years old. I'm really happy you won. I hope you had a great day with winning golf. Yeah, I love winning golf. Well, Caitlin, winning golf loves you. Now, you have one big event left, Caitlin. I know you're only 11 years old, but you're going to get a chance in a couple minutes to putt for a brand new Nissan Maxima. How does that sound to you? Awesome. That will be awesome. Well, I hope you win it, Caitlin. Thank you. While well, the excitement is building, we only have 60 feet between Caitlin Ferrer and a brand new Nissan Maxima. So whatever you do, don't touch that remote. I think we're going to give a new car away when winning golf returns. New bikes aren't selling, guys. What are you going to do? How about we pump more into promotions? Yeah, what else? What if we hire more sales reps? Yeah, what else? What if we digitize the whole supply chain? So people can customize their bike before they buy it. That worked better than expected. I'll dial it back. Yeah, dial it back. Just a little. Live business powered by SAP. When you run live, you run simple. Gather with friends and make it a party at PJ's. With fresh cocktails and a great selection of local craft beer. Order up our famous buffalo wings. Flavored in your choice of seven signature sauces. Philly's number one sports fans catch every game at PJ Wellahan. Where every seat is the best seat in the house. Find a location near your neighborhood. Visit PJ'sPub.com. Ah, you're going with a two iron. Ah, oh, you're probably thinking it shouldn't have hit that two iron. But when you think infinity, think Bush Auto Group. Infinity of Ardmore, Infinity of Westchester. Think Infinity. Think Bush Auto Group. Chunk shot. Oh, and another. And now the foot wedge. Yeah, you're probably thinking Mulligan. And when you think Nissan, think Bush Auto Group. In Exton, Devon, Limerick, and at BushAutoGroup.com. It's time now on winning golf for the Bush Auto Group Champions Pot. Check out their family of dealerships at BushAutoGroup.com. Each week, our champion will attempt to roll one in from only 60 feet to win a spectacular Nissan Maxima. Winning Golf is thankful to have the Bush Auto Group sponsoring this thrilling event. Our 11-year-old champion, Caitlin Ferrer, is only 60 feet away from the pin. If she can hit the perfect putt, Caitlin will win the keys to a brand new Nissan Maxima. And she's got a great setup from 60 feet. Here it comes. Gets to the crest, coming back down towards the hole. And how about this effort from our champion? Caitlin Ferrer, probably the best of this season. Well done, Caitlin. I hope you enjoyed today's exciting show from the beautiful Apple Cross Country Club. I personally want to thank General Manager Justin Myers, Head Golf Professional Tommy Moore, Head Superintendent Doug Gray, and of course the Apple Cross membership for their warm welcome and hospitality. And a special thanks to Eric McLuhan and his Girls Golf Revolution team. What a treat it was to watch all those juniors compete and have so much fun together. I sure hope that having fun concept lasts a lifetime. Thanks so much for watching Winning Golf, the show where everybody wins. I'll see you all next week. Winning Golf is brought to you by SAP. Enable your business to run simple with SAP. Learn more at SAP.com. Everybody wins.